Hey guys, welcome back to Gopherwood. Today's topic is the basics of time delay in Unity. Let's hop into it. Alright guys, so today we are talking about time delay in Unity. So this is actually a pretty simple concept in Unity. They have their act together on this one. So today we're just going to do a basic time delay by having our player change color after a time delay when we push the spacebar. So in order to do a time delay, we're actually going to need to do everything that we want delayed inside of a different function. So typically to make a different function, we would go down here and we would make another void. But a void doesn't have any parameters inside of it. So for a time delay, we're actually going to want to use what's called an I enumerator. So we'll say I enumerator and then call it whatever you want. Call it time delay and then put, bracket, put parentheses and brackets. And the reason this is upset is because an I enumerator requires a time delay in here. So we have to put in the code for a time delay. So that is going to be yield, sorry, yield return new wait for seconds. And that's right down here. And then inside the parentheses, you just put however many seconds you want it to be. So I'll just say two for an example and put a semicolon at the end. All right, so then under this line of code here, we're gonna want to put down whatever we want to be executed after the time delay. So in this case, we'll just say transform.getComponent. So this is accessing a component of the object that this script is attached to. So we're gonna go ahead and attach this script to our player. So transform.getComponent, we'll say renderer, and then parentheses.material.color is equal to color, and we'll just say color.ren. So then after our two seconds, when we run this, it is going to change our player's color to red. Also, one more thing to mention, the reason why this is still red is because I titled this with the same title as I titled my script. That is never a good idea. You never want to have them be the same title because Unity will get confused. But we can go ahead and just change this from a capital D to a lowercase d and it'll be okay. So then go ahead and hop into your update and we will make our conditional. We'll say if input dot get key. key code dot, uh, we'll say space. So now typically if you're going to access a function, like if we had a, a void here, we'll just call it test, then if you were going to try to run the code that was inside here, what you would do is say test and put the brackets around it. And then if we push the space, it would run everything inside the test. But if you're going to call an I enumerator, it requires a little different line. If you just said time delay here and tried to run it the same as you would a function, it would not run properly. So what we have to do is say start coroutine. I enumerators are of type coroutine. So we'll go ahead and say start coroutine. Start coroutine, and inside the brackets, then we will say time delay with the lowercase d, and we need its own set of parentheses and then a semicolon at the end of it. And that should be it. If we go ahead and hop into Unity, then we will find our player or the object that we want to attach the delay to, move our script to it, and then if we go ahead and push play, now, if we push the space bar, it should be a two second delay and our player turns red. So that's just the basics of time delay in Unity. I hope this helped you guys and I'll be making another video shortly. See you guys next time.